Uh, it is doing. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. The first thing that was notable about Mr Little's contribution is that he could not answer the very simple good question from my colleague Michael Woodhouse. Simple question, that is, if somebody's got a house that was insulated to the standard 10 years ago, will this bill require them to upgrade it? Fair question? What's the answer? Andrew Little can't answer it, and we've got no indication from any other member on the government benches. Here's the second point. Mr Little has just argued that the big change in this bill is that when you sign a tenancy agreement, it's going to have to meet the standards that set out in the regulations that are empowered by this bill. But that's the law now. I have before me the housing improvement regulations. It covers every single one of the issues. Heating. I'm sorry to interrupt the member. The time has come for me to report progress. Chief. Uh, Mr Speaker, the committee has considered the Parental Leave and Employment Protection Amendment Bill and reports it with amendment. The committee has considered the Healthy Homes Guarantee Bill No. 2 um, and reports it with progress. Mr Speaker, I move that the report be adopted. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The Parental Leave and Employment Protection Amendment Bill is set down for third reading next sitting day. The Healthy Homes Guarantee Bill number two is set down for further consideration in committee next sitting day. The House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow.